Ja. Mm. <laughs> well, hello, hello, dear friend. Thank you for joining me today. Do you know what time it is? It is time for a new pattern. Yay! Good energy. I like the energy. This week's shawl is absolutely divine. Lord help us all. This is the <laughs> this is the Alpenbow shawl designed for you by Monica Wesley. inspired by Alpenglow, which is that gorgeous radiance you see when the sun is peeking up over snowy mountains. So I grew up in Juneau, Alaska, which is basically a city nestled among mountains and water. And I remember waking up on those cold Alaskan mornings, getting up and looking out the window, and the sun would just be resplendent. It would just be pouring out over the mountains. It would be sparkling on the water and hitting the clouds. It was just an absolutely incredible sight. Alaska is truly one of the most beautiful places on earth. And if you ever get the rare chance of flying into an Alaskan city at sunrise or sunset and you're sandwiched between the mountains and the clouds, it is otherworldly. It's one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. This design is like the light of dawn radiating out, striking those high peaks and splashing down through the clouds. It is so amazing. This half circle pie shawl is knit flat and it uses six colors of our 100% silk Allure fingering weight yarn. It is so shimmery, drapey and puddly. It's such a dream. This pattern features a variety of techniques. It starts here at the top with a garter tab cast on, and it has different sections. So you're gonna find some basic knits and pearls in here. You're gonna find some fair aisle sections. We've got some yarn overs. We've got some slipped stitches. And if you would like more information on any of those techniques, we do have quite a few videos showing those. So please check out the description box below. So that makes this project perfect if you want to learn some new techniques and add to your knitting repertoire. Repertoire. <laughs> So the technique we're gonna to learn today is how to work this beautiful lacy bit on the border. This is section G of the pattern, and I'm gonna be doing a small swatch today and using larger needles just so it's easier for you to see. Let's go ahead and start with row one of this section. For row number one, we are gonna start by slipping one knitwise. To do that, insert your needle like so, and slip your stitch off your left needle. Then you're gonna knit one stitch, and then slip your stitch marker. All right, now we're gonna do a knit front and back all the way across to our other marker. To do that, go ahead and start by knitting this first stitch, but leave it on your left needle. Swing around, and also knit into the back of that stitch. Then you can slide it off. So again, knit into the front, slide your needle around, and knit into the back. And you're gonna have a lot more stitches than this when you reach this point of the shawl. I just wanted to do a little swatch for you today just to speed it up a little bit for you. So go ahead and repeat that until you get to your next marker. And Monica that designed this shawl actually made these stitch markers for me. They're so cute. All right, one more. Front and back. When you get to your next marker, you're going to slip it And then for those final two stitches, you're going to finish with a knit one, and then slip one knitwise. And there you go. For row two of this section, which is the wrong side of our shawl, you're just going to purl every stitch. For row two, you're just gonna purl every stitch across. So you see your yarn is pulling from over here and that's fine. Just go ahead and purl that first stitch and purl that next stitch. When you come to your markers, you're just gonna slip them and then continue purling all the way across your row. I love these rows because they're so mindless 
and relaxing. And I have had some questions on this Allure Silk Yarn, if it's slippery or not, and it is not. It's actually very grippy. It grips your needle, so it's really easy to knit with. It's almost like it wants to clean and stay right where it's at. So it's super easy to work with, even if you're a beginner knitter. You'll continue purling all the way across. When you come to that next marker, you're going to slip it onto your right needle and purl those final two stitches. And that is row two. And finally, let's go ahead and work row three of section G. For row three, we're gonna start by slipping one knitwise like so. Then you're going to knit the next stitch. And we're now at our stitch marker, so we're going to slide it to our other needle. Now, you're going to do a knit two. One, two. Then you're going to repeat across your row. Yarn over, slip one purl wise, so to do that, your needles are pointing at each other and you slip one like this. Then you're gonna knit two, one, two, and then you're going to pass that slipped stitch over. So just pick that slipped stitch up and pass it over and off your needle. You continue repeating that across your row. I'll do it again. Yarn over, slip one purl wise, knit two, then you're going to pass that slipped stitch over and off. When you do get down to just two stitches before your stitch marker, you're going to knit those one two, pass your stitch marker to your other needle, then you're going to finish with a knit one, and then slip one knitwise, like so. And that is row three. Super easy. Now you're just going to repeat those stitches, and that is what creates that beautiful look on the edge there of the shawl. I just want to give you a little word of encouragement today. If you ever find yourself in a knitting pattern and you get stuck and you just are getting frustrated with it, just stop. Set it aside, go rest your brain for a little bit, perhaps even overnight. Maybe do some Googling and YouTubing to see what you can find as far as the technique for that pattern and then pick it up later when your brain is fresh. And I find almost always if you give yourself a break and a rest and you come back to it, it's much easier. Your brain has usually figured out the problem and you can just continue knitting on. Because after all, knitting is just a series of stitches broken down into steps. So I know you can do it. I know you can figure it out. If you would love this pattern, you can download it at expressionfiberarts.com. And as always, we will put the link in the description box below for you. Our patterns are usually free just for a limited time. So to get notified when the next one goes live so you can grab it in time, just sign up for email updates when you're on the website. We truly hope that you absolutely love this pattern. I think it would be amazing for spring through winter, just any season really. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget, you are worthy of all good things coming your way. Yes, it's true. I am going to see you next time. You go out and have a great day. Bye-bye. Me, 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 me. Where's my lemon water? You know, what time, you know what time it is. I already forgot. You know what time it is. It's time for a new pattern. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. I forgot that part. <laughs> Yay. The crowd goes wild. Lord help us all. This is <laughs> Lord help us all. This is so beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Radiance you see when the sun peaks up and splays up peaks up. Peaks up and splays. The sun peaks up and splays. <laughs> what? You know because you splay your legs. Oh. Like have you ever heard of that? No, like a deer's leg, a fawn, splays out. It splays out like yes. Bambi. It would be Bambi. I need, to, I need to let the people know. Censored. Censored. <laughs> huh? You're like an onion. <laughs> Add to your knitting repertoire. Oh, Gl are you French now? Repertoire. <laughs> Whoa! All right.
I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.